Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome back to my channel, Sasha Reads. And this is going to be my August TBR. So, I'm filming this very, very early. So, things might change in the next couple of weeks. It is currently the 17th of July. Jen has brought out her full moon readathon prompts. I got asked by a fellow booktuber if they could use my TBR game for one of their videos and that made me go you know what I haven't played my TBR game in a while let's play this uh for August for my birthday month and then I realized I film with my phone so I can't play and film at the same time because if you're not aware my camera's shit itself I screen recorded me playing my game and let's just talk about the books that I chose and while you watch me play Pokemon Go Okay, so as you can see here, I caught a Hitmonlee first, and that is a fighting Pokemon, and so a book with sports in it is a prompt for fighting, and I was trying to think, I'm like, probably some of my YA contemporaries might have sports in it, but I just finished Dark Fae by the Twisted Sisters this month in July, and so I want to continue on with the series, so I'm going to pick up Savage Fae by the same authors. It's going to follow on from the events of Dark Fame, which is about Elise, who her brother has died, and she's trying to revenge him. Avenge him. This uh, world has this sport called Pitball, and it's really exciting. So, yeah. I then caught a Fletchling, which is a normal slash flying Pokemon. Now, the prompts for normal is like a women's fiction, literary fiction, memoir, or prompts for flying is sci-fi. So... For sci-fi, I'm going to be picking up Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rhody Beleza. This is a YA space opera, I believe. A crown princess, Rhiannon Tarn, wants vengeance because pretty much she has spent her whole life training to destroy the people who killed her family. Now, on the eve of her coronation, the time has finally come for Reed to claim her throne and her revenge. Yes, this is an exhilarating debut for fans of Marissa Mai's Lunar Chronicles and Pierce Brown's Red Rising trilogy. So definitely keen for this. This is also one of my books on my 23 to read in 2023. And then I caught Poochyanna, which is a dark type Pokemon. It's one of my favorite Pokemon in the world. I love Poochyanna um, and I love Mightyanna. And the prompt for dark is Dark Romance. And so I'm finally going to be picking up Does It Hurt by H.G. Carlton. This is my first H.G. Carlton why can't I talk? This is my first H.G. Carlton book. They also wrote the cat and mouse duet, so Haunting and Hunting Adeline. I thought I might ease into her books with this one. This was actually a 12 friends picks 12 books, and this was picked by my Instagram friend Ash Reads, so go check her out. The only thing I really know about this is he fucks her while drowning her. That's like the only thing I know about this book. <laughs> So I'm hoping it's going to be good, but then I have no doubts. I then caught a Wigglytuff, which is a normal slash fairy type Pokemon. And a prompt for fairy type Pokemon is Book with Fae. So I'm going to be reading Fortuna Swarm by KJ Sutton. This is, um, I think it's a fantasy romance. I believe it's about Fae. Anyway, so you've got Fortuna Swarm is the last of her kind. Her brother disappeared two years ago, leaving her with no family or species to speak of. She hides among humans, spending her days working at a bar and her nights searching for him. The black baton goes on and on, until she catches the eye of a powerful fairy. He makes no attempt to hide that he desires Fortuna, and in exchange for her, he offers something irresistible. So Fortuna reluctantly leaves her safe existence behind to step back into a world of creatures and power. Somebody described this as the Court of Nightmares scene in Akamath, but just for the whole book. So definitely keen for that. And then I caught an Oddish, which is a grass slash poison type Pokemon. I'm going to go with the grass prompt, which is read a middle braid. And I'm going to pick up a Wheeler, uh, the Kuri Warrior by Jordan Gould and Richard Pritchard. This is the first book, Guardians. This is uh, written by a First Nations author here in Australia, and it's inspired by First Nations history and grounded in culture. So I believe both Meredith and Ren has read this recently, so I'm really excited to read this. Plus, it's going to be super quick because, like, the writing is huge and there's pictures, and I just want 
short books for this month. And then last but not least, we caught a P-Dove, which is a normal slash flying type Pokemon. It's, I'm going with the normal prompt, which is like women's fiction, literary fiction, historical fiction, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to be reading this chunk of a book, Babble by R.F. Kuang. I have read Poppy War by this author, absolutely loved it. This book scares me, but this was a 12 Rex by 12 Friends by Six of Chaos, who is on YouTube and Instagram. I'll tag her down below. Thank you so much, Perry. <laughs> I'm very scared. The writing is tiny. The book is huge, but it's floppy. I'm going to try and get the audio for this and maybe like, hybrid read it just because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm just, I'm very scared. And I know this is technically like fantasy or dark academia, but it's my game, so my rules. Okay, so that's it for the Pokemon Go portion of this TBR. Let's go into the Full Moon Readathon. I'm so excited for this. I loved it last year. I don't know why I didn't vlog last year, but I'm definitely clean to vlog this year. It goes for two weeks. There's a bunch of prompts that are kind of inspired by tarot cards, kind of inspired by Jan's favorite things. So let's get into it. First of all, we have the skeleton card. So you've got three prompts, two reading prompts, and one life prompt. The thinking behind this, these like prompts are just phenomenal. So you've got a hardback and I will be reading An Empress of a Thousand Skies because it's a hardback. Self-explanatory. I've already talked about this book. So yes, and like where to wear, skeletons are hard. <laughs> the next prompt was read a book between 206 and 300 pages, which when you're a baby, you start off with 206 bones, but once you become a fully grown adult, you have 300 bones in your body. How cool is that? Like, Jan is just a mastermind. So I'll be reading Fortuna Sworn for this because this is 298 pages. So I just come into it there. I talked about this book already as well. And then the life prompt for this tarot card is favorite graphic tea. So you find out what I'll be wearing in my vlog that will be probably coming out in the later part of August. And then for the Jack O'Lantern Tarot card, we have a nostalgic spooky book. Now, I don't think I read a lot of spooky books when I was younger. I might pick up, oh, I remember reading this vampire book when I was younger. I might pick it up from the library uh, when I'm there sometime, but it's about this girl who like, they're all in high school and she like stalks this vampire and like falls in love with him anyway. For the Someone Else Picks My TBR, I did a poll on Instagram and then this book won. It is The Dark Tide by Alicia Jasinska. I don't know where my copy's gone. I had a copy of it, but I have no idea where it's gone. Oh, I found it. Never mind. The Dark Tide by Alicia Jasinska. So this is about Lena Kirk, who's convinced her brother is going to be taken this year because every year on St. Walpurga's Eve, Caldella's witch queen lures a boy back to her palace. An innocent life must be sacrificed on the full moon to keep the island city from sinking. Also, how convenient are these two covers? They're full moons on them and it's a full moon readathon. I'm like, I have to read them. And like, I didn't mean to, but it worked out so well. I know that Meredith love, love, loves this book. So I definitely can't wait to pick this up because of her. And then the life prompt for this tarot card is something pumpkin flavored. I'm not sure what we're gonna do because August is winter here. And maybe I'll make like a pumpkin soup or I'll make a pumpkin pie or something. I don't know, figure something out because pumpkin spice lattes don't really happen here in Australia because we're basic, even more than pumpkin spice lattes. And then for the vampire tarot card, we've got Blood in the Title or Cover, and I'm going to be reading Moon Blooded Breeding Clinic by Sienna Scotta. This is the third book in her like uh, Cambridge Creek series. I read uh, Morning Glory Milking Farm and Sweet Berries last year, I believe. Absolutely love them. They're so sweet with a touch of spice because they're like monster romance. And Moon Blooded Brini Clinic, I feel kind of bad because it's about a werewolf and it's the vampire tarot card, but I can't believe I'm reading this as well because Jan hates like anything talking about pregnancy. This isn't for her, this is for me. And then for read a book with my favorite supernatural character, I'm kind of cheating. I'm going to be reading Savage Fae by the Twisted Sisters. 
Uh, so in the Solarian world, the Fae are all different kinds of beings. You've got like shapeshifter Fae, so you can shapeshift into a werewolf, a pegasus, a like Nahinian lion, or you have vampires or sirens and you've got like harpies and phoenixes and there's like lots of different types of supernatural creatures in this whole world so i'm because i can't really choose what my favorite supernatural creature is so i'm just going to use this book for this prompt because there's multiples and plus the main character of savage fae is a vampire so it works well for the vampire tarot card and then the life prompt for this card is a red drink slash mug. I have a red mug. It's a Christmas one. Uh, but it'll work. Or I can maybe find some... I'm gonna Maybe I'll find like a vampire mug or something at TK Maxx or something. Let me find out. And then last but not least, we have the Devil Tarot card. We've got a fire setting or something to do with fire. And I'm going to be reading The Demon's Bargain by Katie Robert. Look at fire on that cover. This is about Lenora and Ramanu. We have met Ramanu before. They are a demon in Katie Robert's Deal with the Demon series. And they kind of help the girls out you'll read them and you'll find out but this is their story with Lenora and all I know is someone was asking for pegging prompts and someone said this book and I'm like how did I not know that this book has pegging in it so I'm going to read it Obviously, it's got pegging in it. I think I'm buddy reading this with Erin from Sheba and Shelves as well. So I'm very, very excited to read this with her because we both loved The Crack and Sacrifice, like Catalina. Like, we both love Catalina. And so hopefully we will both love this book as well. And <laughs> so tiny. I wish it was bigger. I wish all of Katie Roberts' Deal with the Demon series was bigger, to be honest. And then the last prompt on this tarot card is is a morally gay character. So that could literally be any of the books that I've said for this readathon. You've got like The Demon's Bargain, you've got Fortuna Swan, you've got Savage Fae, even The Dark Tide I'm pretty sure has some morally gray characters. So I could use any of them. And then the last life prompt for this tarot card is Read Past Your Bedtime. And I do that all the time. So I, you will see in my vlog when and how I will do that. Maybe in one of Jan's sprints. When she sprints in the middle of the day, her time, it's like middle of the night my time. So it'll work out. Okay, so that is all the books I'll be reading for the Full Moon Readathon. I now have four more books to talk about. They are group reads or buddy reads. First of all, I've got my own book club read-along, which is the Medoran Chronicles read-along. We are finishing up the Medoran Chronicles in August with Vardeja by Lynette Nonny. This is the final book, and I am very, very sad. I'm not going to read the back of it because I don't want to be spoiled, but... It's going to be very bittersweet. The live show will be the last Sunday on my channel in August. So look out for that. We are reading We Three Heroes in July. So if this goes up before the last Sunday of July and you've read We Three Heroes, go check out Ash's channel. I will link the live stream down below. But yes, I've had such a fun time reading this with everyone. Oh my God. My cat just scared me. I saw the door open. Are you right? Are you coming in? And then for Ren's Queer or Not Book Club, we will be reading Sorry Bro by Taylene Visconti. I thought this was YA, but I believe it's actually a adult romance. It's queer. I can't really tell you much about it. Oh, okay. So it's about a um, Armenian American woman who discovers that she might be a little bit queer because when her non-Armenian boyfriend, uh, proposes to her like in the middle of San Francisco club with a bunch of drunk guys around her she realizes that she needs to find someone who will share her idea of romance and her mother kind of convinces her to look at all these like Armenian respectful husband material people for her but she doesn't actually go out for any of them she finds Erebuni who is a woman as equally immersed in the witchy arts as mm, she is in preserving Armenian identity. So that's very exciting. This sounds so good. I think there's an audiobook I'm gonna, I can borrow on Libby, so definitely picking that up. 
for Jan's Full Moon Book Club in August, we are reading a YA dark vampire book, I believe. It's called A Court of the Undying Seasons by Adrienne Strickland. Don't know much about it. I'll put a picture here. I'm just excited because, I don't know, I like reading Jan's Full Moon Book Club picks. And we always have a fun time either in the Discord chat or even in the live stream. And then last but not least, Meredith and I will be buddy reading Choosing Theo by Victoria Aveline. I saw some artwork for this book and it looks so good. So this is a sci-fi like alien romance, but the alien doesn't look sci-fi-ish. He kind of looks like Hunt Athala and the female main character is fat. So definitely going to pick that up. If I can find the artwork I'll put that here but yes so that is it for my August TBR like I said it's my birthday month so hopefully I will enjoy a lot of these books and I'm very excited to participate in Jan's Full Moon Readathon again and buddy read books with a bunch of my friends so if you are going to be participating in Jan's Readathon let me know down below if you're going to be reading any of the same books as me let me know I'd love to hit you up on discord or instagram and buddy read it with you but yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos by me I hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your day I'll see you next time. Bye.